students so previous lecture we have seen some important concepts related to drift velocity today we are going to discuss about resistors so resistors are used to limit the current flowing through a particular path of a circuit or we can say resistor these are the device which which can be used to control the flow of current in the circuit isn't it and resistors are having a property resistance and resistance is nothing but property of material which opposes the flow of current so there are two types of the resistors basically first is carbon resistor here you can see and second a traditional resistor that is wire wound resistors okay so if you see wire wound resistors are nothing but simple metallic core or resistivity wire or resistive wire is wounded over a metallic core okay means if you take simple metallic core and if you wound the resistive wire like uh, any material which is having high resistivity over this metallic core in terms uh, like a solenoid then it becomes a wire wound resistor and now day to day life we are uh, due we are using technology and that's why now updated version of this wire wound resistor had come that is carbon resistors basically these carbon resistors are made by carbon or graphite okay and this carbon resistor is having certain advantages over this wire wound resistors so we'll see it now so what is carbon resistor so we are basically having in our syllabus carbon resistor so we'll discuss about carbon resistor only so it is the resistor which is made of carbon or graphite advantages of the carbon resistor over wire wound resistor it is small in size and are light in weight that is these are the very small in size and lightweight too so generally we can use it in our day to day practicals physics practicals okay next it is suitable for high frequency circuits so if you see the wire wound resistors these wire wound resistors are not suitable for the high frequency circuits means up to a uh, certain frequency range they are useful but if you go beyond 50 hertz then we have to use the carbon resistors okay that's why it is suitable for high frequency circuits it is the one of the advantage of carbon resistor then it has low temperature coefficient value means it does not get heated easily means large amount of temperature means large amount of heat is required to increase the temperature of this carbon resistor so it is one of the wonderful benefit we have with us because generally wire wound resistors got heated or heats up after uh, continuous use in the circuit now using this high value resistors can easily be made means if you use carbon resistors we can use it for the higher purpose also means if you want to give the high value that is 10 k 10 k ohm 20 k ohm this amount of value also we can apply with the help of carbon resistor and it is not possible with wire wound resistor so these are the some applications or advantages of the carbon resistors over wire wound resistors now we'll see color code of carbon resistor so here i forgot to tell you one more advantage we have of carbon resistor is we can here if you see both the figures we can determine the resistance of carbon resistor okay but here wire wound resistors we can't means suppose if you connect both the types of resistor in the circuit then we can calculate what amount of resistance is applied by carbon resistor but we cannot calculate what amount of resistance is applied by this wire wound resistance in the circuit so this is the very excellent application we have with us of the carbon resistor so we'll discuss in detail now suppose if you want to find the resistance then there is a color code so this is the chart of the color code if you see the column first is colors then uh, second column is first digit from 0 to 9 then second digit also same 0 to 9 then third column is multiplier that is 10 to the power uh, 0 to minus 2 and then toll runs okay and it is applicable only for five colors that is brown red uh, for gold silver and no color band isn't it now there is big question in front of student ki how to remember this chart so there is a simple sentence b b roy of great britain has very good wife so here b stands for black then one more b stands for brown then roy r o y that is red orange and yellow then great britain that is g 
B that is green blue has a very good wife that is VGW that is violet grey and white and last three colors are gold silver and no color band these three colors are these three colors are useful for only 12 runs okay and then we, we have to start first column from 0 to 9 second also 0 to 9 multiplier in each in front of each color we have to write 10 and start power from 0 to 9 only isn't it and for 12 runs we have to write 10 raised to minus 1 10 raised to minus 2 take okay, a multiplier and then 12 runs for brown color plus or minus 1 percent for red plus or minus 2 percent isn't it for gold plus or minus 5 percent very important if gold color is there then we have to write tolerance plus or minus 5% and I am going to tell you how to write this for silver color plus or minus 10% and if there is no color then 20% so we will learn now how to use this table suppose this is the example of register carbon register isn't it so usually carbon register have four color band on the body of carbon register isn't it so what does it mean that four color so if you see if the first color indicates only three types of colors means first band indicates three types of color only first if there is no color gold or silver so we have to start measuring the colors from this so this is first second third and fourth so this is the last two colors so last two colors indicates the two significant figures means last color indicates first digit then second last color indicates second digit then third color indicate multiplier here and the first color indicate tolerance okay so now if you see here the color code the first two rings from the end gives the first two significant figures isn't it first two significant figures these two first two colors and the third ring indicates the decimal multiplier this third ring indi indicates the decimal multiplier from last isn't it and the last ring indicates the tolerance this ring indicates tolerance okay it may be gold silver or no color for example so if you have to write if first color is a and second color is b then we have to write a into b okay first two significant figure and for third color we have to write multiplier that is into this multiplier here here it is written okay and tolerance we have to write plus or minus tolerance isn't it now we will see one example then we will understand now this is the carbon resistor which is having four color band over it so first from last we have to start so if you consider gold is the first band then we have to start from last so here first color from the last is so first is brown then violet black and gold so as per our rule first two rings from the end gives the first two significant figures so we have to write for instead of brown we can write first significant brown for one isn't it and for second is violet In violet we know that seven so we got it here one into one seven that is 70 isn't it so for brown we can write one for violet we can write seven so here we got from first two significant figures 17 into multiplier of black color so what is the multiplier of multiplier of black color so multiplier of black color is 10 raised to 0 10 raised to 0 power 0 plus or minus tolerance okay here plus or minus d that is tolerance we have to write so what is tolerance in this case for gold color tolerance is plus or minus 5 percent so here we are so for first color brown we have written 1 that is first digit for second color violet we have written 7 here second digit 7 then for third color we have to write multiplier that is 10 raised to power so black color multiplier is here you can see 10 raised to 0 so is equal to 17 into 10 raised to 0 is 1 so 17 plus or minus tolerance 5 percent as gold color is there so the resistance of given carbon resistor is 17 plus or minus 5 percent ohm isn't it hope you understood if you see second example second example three colors are given green red blue and silver so for green we can write first digit 5 then for red we can write second digit 2 that is 5 to 52 52 into for third color we have to write multiplier so for blue multiplier is 10 to 6 so here we can write green 5 red 2 52 into 10 to 6 
okay here here so 52 into 10 raised to 6 plus or minus 10 percent because for silver tolerance is 10 percent oh hope you understood now if you see the third example in third example <clears throat> it is given same color as the first example okay but here no color is there so my dear student as i said this if you see this band fourth band that is first band it depends on how you are going to number so if you see this band this band is having only three colors as i said silver gold or no color for sil silver we have seen one numerical for gold also we have seen so we'll see for no color also so as per the our color code and rules first two figures indicates significant figures or first two colors indicate significant figure so for brown we can write one so violet we can write seven so 17 into multiplier of black that is 10 raised to no 10 raised to power of zero so it will be 17 into 10 raised to zero and here no color so plus or minus for no color is 20 percent so the answer is 17 into 10 raised to not that is 17 plus or minus 20 percent ohm so the in this way we can calculate the resistance of the carbon resistor so hope you understood my dear student once again the most important thing we have to understand is that give the numbering from this silver gold or no color band that is one two three and four so four colors will be there and start from last so from last first color indicates first digit this okay second color indicate second digit isn't it so first two color we have to write in that complete number that is two significant figure and remember that third color we have to write in terms of multiplier in terms of multiplier here you have done that is in terms of black brown and blue okay any color may be there and fourth we have to write in terms of tolerance that is plus or minus something percent that is plus or minus if gold color is there then five percent plus or minus ten percent plus or minus twenty percent so in this way we can calculate the resistance of carbon code okay and the, how do we remember this we have to remember this by using this simple sentence bb roy of great britain has very good wife so b for black brown red orange yellow then just g uh, this g stand for green then this blue wallet then again gray and white and last three colors are for tolerance gold silver and no color hope i am very clear with you now next these are the some practically used carbon resistors if you see day to day life these are the some carbon resistors so it is homework for you you start from any number and calculate one two three four five six examples i am giving okay so here this uh, gold color is there so you can start from this one two three and four so here gold color is this side so we can start with one two three that is first color is yellow second is violet third is blue here again gold color is here so tolerance in first three cases it would be five percent only so all colors are gold only if you see one two three four five six all the colors are gold so as per our chart for gold colors tolerance will be five percent only so start with this so here we have to start from orange white red isn't it then yellow violet black then again here brown green red then again brown black brown red 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 and here yellow violet and orange so in this way you have to find and just message me on the first uh, personal whatsapp number already students you are having my number or you can comment also in this youtube okay these are the six homework you have to do so this is all about today my dear student but again one basic thing we will learn as we have time one minute so series combination of resistors like we have done in class 10 also if resistors are connected in series then total resistance will be sum of all individual resistances and if you connect all resistors in parallel then total resistance will be reciprocal of sum of all individual resistances so here we have to learn one fact only in series combination total resistance r is always greater than the greatest of all matlab suppose is r1 is greatest of this r2 and r3 then r will be greater than r1 and here total resistance r is always smaller than smallest of all means if r1 is smaller then this resultant r will be smaller than this r1 also so this is all about today's lecture so hope you enjoyed thank you